Good morning and welcome to VHC Today. I'm Pastor Dave. It's Monday, March the 14th, and uh, it's going to be a beautiful day, a beautiful week, I believe, as Arizona is prone to have at this time of year, and I'm so glad to have this time together. I'm actually having a little coffee to give me a pick-me-up. And you know, in this season of Lent, some have decided that for these uh, 40 days, they'll not drink coffee. Instead of drinking coffee when they have the impulse and the desire for it, they'll turn their minds and their hearts to Jesus, thinking about the cost to him our salvation was, living into a time, instead of satisfying themselves or satisfy, regarding a cup of coffee, uh, they will live into prayer, thinking and considering in a special way in this season, God's will in his way and expressing their love uh, to the Father for Jesus, our Lord. Some will give up things like dessert. Uh, others will uh, sometimes will fast lunch um, and spend that time in prayer. Many different ways based on the tradition and the beliefs of the individual. Self-denial is uh, one of the greatest privileges of the followers of Christ. Not an easy concept to understand because self-denial means that uh, possibly we'll live in pain or there's something that we truly want that we won't allow ourselves to have, uh, a feeling, uh, something to eat or not eat, uh, an impulse of our spirits to re not no longer respond in a certain way. Um, it's, a, it's a concept, a biblical concept, which is worthy of studying. And in these few minutes this morning, really the... Books and books and books have been written, and I myself have spent a lifetime considering what self-denial means. Um, but today, I'd like to stick our toe in the water for a few minutes, and I'd like to read from Isaiah 55, which I think is indicative of, uh, in this passage, of what really self-denial is all about as we deny ourselves what we receive instead. 55 verse 6, seek the Lord while he may be found, call on him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his ways and the evil man his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord and he will have mercy on him and to our God for he will freely pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. As the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return to it without watering the earth and making it bud and flourish, so that it yields seed for the sower and bread for the eater, so is my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but, I, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. You will go out in joy and be led forth in peace. The mountains and the hills will burst into song before you, and all the trees of the field will clap their hands, because my ways are higher than your ways. My thoughts are higher than your thoughts. We live life thinking we know what will make us happy, what our hearts desire, what will bring us satisfaction. And God says, you really don't. I have higher ways for you, higher thoughts for you. In this season of Lent, let's live there. Let's deny ourselves, not for the purpose of simply denying ourselves to be mean to ourselves, but for the privilege of what we will have in following Jesus closer, in reading his word, in understanding what his word means, in applying his word to our minds and hearts, in inviting him in, in a new, fresh way, to change the course of our hearts and lives. His ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. So I deny my ways. I deny my, deny my thoughts so I can have eternal, abundant life from his heart to my heart through this tool, this way of life called self-denial. Nothing bad about self-denial. All good as we do it for the purpose of following Christ more and enjoying what he has for us, the privilege 
of self-denial is beyond what words can, words can express. So may your day be filled with grace, with love, with joy. And I invite you with me, let us deny ourselves so that we can follow him more closely and receive his high ways, his high thoughts in this moment and every moment of our lives. May God bless you richly as you live in him and love in him and as he loves in and through you because he loves you so much. Goodbye for now.